Last night, I made a video that was called NAS Explained Under 3 Minutes. And my video idea for today's video, my idea for today's video was SAN Explained Under 3 Minutes. But then I thought that it would be beneficial. It would be more... How do I put this? It would be easier for you guys to conceptualize, contextualize, not conceptualize, contextualize the idea better if I could show you guys a comparison between NAS and a SAN. And that's what I'm doing today. You're welcome. A NAS is a network of attached system, whereas a SAN is a storage area network. Alright, why do we use NAS? To share data in a centralized location that can be accessed from all your devices on your network. And to be honest, NAS doesn't do much except sharing data. Storing data, actually. My then. On a regular sunny day, you will find NAS to simply be a box full of hard drives in a RAID configuration for redundancy, and it will also pass a network interface card, that would directly be attached to a switch or router that, and that is how the accessing data over the network part actually work. One of the main problems with NAS is that it is still immune to a single point of failure. For example, if somehow the power supply fails, all of the devices will have to go through a data route. But here at PC, I do not complain. I provide solutions and this is the part where I talk about SAN aka storage area network. SAN is basically a high-speed network that stores and grants access to large amounts of data. In other words, it's a dedicated network that is used for data storage, which consists of multiple disk arrays, switches, and servers. And since a SAN consists of more than one device, this renders it to be a failure immune system. Unless, of course, a nuclear fallout happens or aim stake over the world. What's up, guys? PC here, and I really hope you are liking this video so far. Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Data is shared among several disk arrays, so if any of the devices such as a switch, a disk array, or a server goes down, the data can still be accessed. There are two exceptionally cool features of SAN which are not present in NAS, are uh, that the computer operating system recognizes SAN as a local hard drive rather than a shared network drive such as a NAS, and uh, number two is that SANs are exceptionally easy to scale up because adding more storage space can easily be done without, without causing a single interruption on the network. In a SAN, all of the devices are connected to each other using fiber channel, which can pull insane speeds that range from 2 gigabits per second to a whopping 120 gigabits per second. But fiber channels can easily get stupendously expensive. But since I do not complain, provide solutions, you can use uh, ISCSI channels, which albeit is not as fast, but it gets the job done. Also, you'll never hear about a SAN bottleneck, which is common in NAS servers because of the excessive traffic.